And Gilly already took a nap. We took that out in mere seconds, man. Jeez. Welcome, guys, back to episode number 27 of Kirby Fighters 2. We're back once again to start up another episode of this series since we just finished up another single-handed matchup using, of course, um, I believe in the last episode it was, um, actually, I don't remember what ability he used in the last episode. I'll, I'll figure that out once we get into the deal. But I decided that for this episode, I might as well try out another particular um, challenge with single-handed matchups. But I think this time I want to change things up a slight bit in regards to what we're going to be doing for this single-handed matchup. But for now, let's do another one of these solo matchups and do this on Waddle Dee train tracks. Since it's been a minute since we last hit this track on an, this stage on an actual playing field, if that makes any sense. Oh wait, no, 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 it clicked back on my mind. We used the staff ability in the last video. And, <laughs> yeah, this is because this stupid blue Magalore wouldn't show up. So, of course, I have to, um, you know, showcase the blue Magalore. Because, apparently, stupid thing wouldn't show um, a blue Magalore, which is kind of stupid. So I have to do something to make him show up. Which reminds me, what does Magalore's ghost look like when he dies? I never knew... I knew what it looked like. Ow! There we go. That's what it looks like? I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little weird looking. Wait, did Gooey just die from a bomb? Okay, that Gooey ghost looking a lot like, uh, like a Pac-Man ghost. I mean, seriously, now. That looks a lot like a Pac-Man ghost. You cannot tell me otherwise. Alright, took care of that. Let's go back into single-handed matchups again one last time. I think for today's single-handed matchup, I'm gonna change things up a bit and use sword again, but this time use the sword hero hat that's used within, of course, well, Super Kirby Clash. Just because I want to try and get this one out of the way before we do anything else in particular. First up is the clownish ball. I know many of you may consider me crazy because I'm doing the same exact thing again, just not the same way as it is before, but it's just because I want to do um, it with this sword, since sword's the only ability apparently that has four different costumes to it, apparently according to the Wikipedia, which I don't understand, but it's whatever. And plus, maybe I can improve my previous sword score. Maybe. Like what just happened there. Alright then. 15 seconds is not bad. Next up is the fresh faced bandana Waddle D. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go for it. Bit, bit, bit. Mm -hmm. Ow. Mm -hmm. There we go. Woo! I'm getting my timings right every time, man. Oh, shoot. He got the invincibility candy. Somehow that attack got him even after the invincibility candy wore it off. I'm not sure how that makes any sense, but we're going to roll with it. Next up is the Beginner Fighter and the Caring Artist. Okay, this battle should be pretty easy, so I don't think it's that difficult, so. Ow! Okay then, that completely works. Just combine them like that. What? 
Next up is the cutesy whip and the dreaming yo-yo. Hey, we're on a pretty good streak so far. Not too bad. All right, let's go. Okay, that works as well. Here we go. I don't know how I was able to get that guy, but we're just going to roll it. And I got both of them at the same time. The same time as those two lava pillars being together. I will take it. Next up is the youthful beetle. Back to ability Kirby's now. Now guys, so this is a fast working ability. Man, I'm improving my score by a lot. Like, by a whole lot! Two minutes! Yo, Kirby be killing it! Next up is the Reckless Archer and the Famished Archer. I'm gonna have to be careful because this is Archer we're talking about. And Archer is a pretty destructive ability if you know how to use it well, so... I have not played the stage on this mode so far in like forever. I don't know when was the last time we did so, but it's been a long time. Okay, that works. Don't know how that works in that context, but we're just going to roll with it. Alright, next up is the Pillowy Fighter and the Gentle Water. I didn't see a single bandana, Waddle Magalore, or even Gooey throughout the rest of this entire team thing. Well, we only saw Bandana Wildy that other time, and I think Gooey that other time as well, but this is an unusual for me to see. I mean, oh, we didn't see Gooey yet, what am I talking about? Dodging that. Well, obviously that guy, that guy was going to die anyway, so. There we go. Alright, moving on. Next up is the Reckless Bean, the Scared Artist, and the Half-Baked Gooey. Okay then, so we finally get Gooey onto the mix. Alright, let's go. And Gooey already took it out. We took that out in mere seconds, man. Jeez. We went through this like it's nothing. Alright. Final boss time with Shadow Kirby. Don't be your medium. Let's go for it. It's that time again. Let's go. Shadow Kirby time. Ow. Don't. 
Og svo annað nú í eins tíð. There we go. tough one, but we managed to win it. Man, we improved our score by a minute, man. Crazy. Oh, wait, no, by 27 seconds, actually. Four minutes. All right, that's a pretty solid score. I'll take it. We gained a lot more points now because of that, so I'll take it. 23-11. Oh, hey, just enough to get a level 40. Oh, Gigavolt! We finally launched a new stage. I'll take it. Oof, this was a tough one, but we finally managed to win. Alright, folks, I think this is a good stop to wrap up this episode. Do that you guys enjoyed this episode. This was a bit crazy, I'm going to have to say, but <laughs> yeah. But anyways, see you all next time when I come back for the next episode. So until next time, guys, bye.